You're listening to Salem Radio Spotlight, and this is Basil Yard. Today, I have in Spotlight with me Bill Brown of the Save the Persecuted Christian Coalition. Bill, welcome to Salem Spotlight. Well, thank you so much, Basil. We really appreciate you um, having me on and uh, sharing our concerns here for persecuted Christians. Now, today we're going to be talking about something very exciting that is going to be happening in Boston. The Save the Persecuted Christians Coalition is going to be having or hosting the People of the Cross exhibit right here on Capitol Hill in Boston. Could you share with our listeners what the People of the Cross exhibit is really all about? Well, the People of the Cross exhibit is a group of about 20, 22, 24 banners, which show the individual countries where persecution is taking place, genocide is taking place, uh, the horrible things that are happening to maybe 200 to 300 million Christians around the world today. Christians are suffering from uh, enslavement, kidnapping, rape, imprisonment, uh, some really horrible uh, things going on. So we want, as the uh, Save the Persecuted Christians Coalition, to bring attention to the plight of persecuted Christians. And uh, this uh, exhibit really um, helps people to understand what is happening in each country, speaking of China, North Korea, Middle East countries, um, even in Mexico, there is really a lot of problems for priests in Mexico. But we um, were doing this to raise awareness because that is one of the critiques in our Western society that not enough attention is brought to the suffering of Christians. Uh, Recently, uh, a a study done was requested by the British government, and it said that this is becoming a genocide across the globe, that so many Christians are suffering. But we are being assisted with Camp Constitution to host this event at the Massachusetts State Capitol on June 27th, as mentioned. And we have a few speakers coming in, like Dr. Charles Jacobs, who was involved with freeing slaves in the Sudan, and uh, Pastor Scott Lively, and uh, Pastor Rafael um, Najim from the uh, Christian Charismatic Ministries up in Lowell, and a few others. Uh, Dexter Van Zyl, of the, uh, he's a senior analyst for the Committee on Accurate Reporting in the Middle East. So some of these people have firsthand experience with helping persecuted Christians overseas and what some of the issues are. But we uh, are looking at just some real problems, like in Pakistan, the blasphemy uh, laws are really uh, bringing a lot of Christians to be put to death or be put in prison. As many of your other listeners may be aware that Asia Bibi was on death row for about nine years, and she was recently released through all the prayers. God answered all those prayers for her. Now, I am glad that uh, you are doing this because... Most people do not realize the persecution of Christians or the extent of persecution of Christians around the world that is taking place. A Muslim gets killed and you and the news media uh, makes a big thing about it. Uh, but there are hundreds and hundreds of, of, of Christians that are being persecuted, killed slaughtered, burnt to death in some cases. I'm right now looking at a, at a picture of a, a church that was burnt and all the members are laid out in ashes because all the people were burnt alive in that church. Why are you doing this now? Well, because they're the, uh, as you said, the media does not pick up the story uh, that much. Occasionally, somewhat, but not as much as they favor other religious groups, it seems. But you mentioned these problems, uh, such as in Nigeria. Uh, last year, at the beginning of the year, there were 6,000 Christians who were killed uh, at the beginning of last year, which is why it's being said that it's possible that a genocide against Christians is beginning to arise in Nigeria. The Save the Persecuted Christians Coalition recently just had uh, Leah Shabaro's um, mother in from Nigeria to talk to people in Washington about her daughter uh, and with many other of the Christian girls in Nigeria which have been abducted by jihadi extremists over there. And they would not release her daughter because she would not recant her faith in Jesus Christ. Mm. So there are um, just so many uh, troubling things. I mean, even in, in China, The new president there, President Xi, uh, has restricted all online sales of Bibles last year, and he wants to eliminate 
the house churches in China, which comprise millions uh, of members. The policy in China now is called return to zero. (laughs) The president of uh, China doesn't really want any freedom of uh, faith activity in the house churches. I mentioned that there are gulags underground in China and North Korea where Christians suffer terribly. Now, what would you like for our listeners to do on the 27th, Bill? Well, we would like for folks to join us at the Massachusetts Capitol in Nurse Hall that afternoon between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. to show support and solidarity for persecuted Christians uh, on a government level or at a government location like the state capitol where our message can get out to the senators, representatives, governor, that people in Massachusetts are very very concerned about this issue, and uh, we're just uh, raising awareness on it and uh, hoping that there will be uh, officials that will stand on behalf of persecuted Christians. Well, I want to encourage our listeners, you want to see the People of the Cross exhibit and understand more about what is happening with Christians in many countries of the world, particularly in countries where there is a a majority of Muslims and in some cases not even a majority of Muslims and people of other religions. You want to go on the 27th of June, that is just two Thursdays from now, on the 27th of June between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. to the state capitol here in Massachusetts and view this exhibit and understand more so that you might know how to pray and so that you might know how to appeal to our representatives to do something about saving the persecuted Christians around the world. Bill, I want to thank you for coming and sharing with our listeners today about this terrible thing that is happening to Christians all around the world. Well, thank you, Basil. And I'd like to mention to your listeners that June 29th is called the Day of the Christian Martyr. And uh, Catholic churches, Orthodox churches, and Protestant churches all are remembering and praying for Christians, particularly on June 29th also, because that was the day uh, that is in the memory of Christianity that St. Paul was martyred. And that's a special day that's being marked. Even Voice of the Martyrs is making that a special day of remembrance and prayer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Basil. You're welcome. God bless you.